Hello, historians. Welcome to day 34. We are wrapping up the Roman Empire today. These notes are going to go quickly. Please feel free to pause the slides, get the notes, and then continue. So talking about Augustus Caesar, who uh, was another name that he had as well was Tiberius, and then his successor was also named Tiberius. So a lot of Tiberius is in there as well. But Caesar Augustus, uh, eventually to take power, he and Mark Antony, as part of that second triumvirate, defeated the assassins of Julius Caesar, basically saying, if an emperor can be treated this way or a dictator can be treated this way, then no one in Rome is safe. So they made a public example of those who had stabbed Julius Caesar and uh, defeated, exiled, um, executed, or uh, caused them to go and end their own lives, which was done a lot in Rome. And uh, that was done to Julius Caesar's assassins. Now, Caesar and Antony then fought each other to see who could be the ultimate dictator. And Antony, Mark Antony and Cleopatra, that's another Shakespeare. So Shakespeare was really interested in Roman history. And some of that is based on some fact. Uh, Cleopatra took the whole Egyptian army and backed Mark Antony. So it would seem that that would give him an, an advantage. But, you know, history, Caesar Augustus was still able to win the day. And uh, Octavian, another one of his names, Octavian. Tiberius, Caesar Augustus, wins at the Battle of Actium 31 years before Christ. And so he rules for a long time because when Jesus is born, he's still on the throne of Rome. And uh, where Jesus is born, of course, in the uh, Judean province of Rome, is one of Rome's subjects. And to avoid the Herods, who were put as tetrarchs in that Judean area, to avoid those tetrarchs, uh, Jesus and his parents escape to Egypt for a while until the Herod who threatens them passes away. And his son is really no better. Herod's work, a piece of work. We may talk about the Herods a little bit in class, but it's, it's not very uh, pleasant, the Herods. Interesting, not necessarily comforting. All right, so let's pray as we begin day 34. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that you are our trustworthy, compassionate, merciful leader and that uh, we do not need to fear any worldly leader because you are still on the throne, the ultimate throne that lasts forever. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So you can see here the Battle of Actium, a map of that. Uh, many statues were made of Caesar Augustus. He really wanted to... Uh, support his image. Okay, a little bit odd there. So Octavian, aka the first Tiberius, becomes known as Augustus Caesar, Caesar Augustus, Caesar meaning ruler, and his rule kicks off the Pax Romana. We talked about Pax Romana last class. It's a very important concept. It means the peace of Rome or Roman peace. And how did they do that? They did that through power. They had peace through might, peace through military strength which America, to a certain extent, tries to do that, tries to maintain world peace by having a really strong military that you don't want to mess with. And one of the reasons that America sometimes supports people who are being picked on by other countries is to kind of give that example, like you can't go too far. We have learned uh, from examples such as Hitler taking advantage of Poland um, after taking the Sudetenland from the Czech Republic. We've learned you can't let a, a bully or just keep going in the world because sometimes they will bring in more people who will lose their lives in that conflict. So the peace through strength is definitely something to, to debate, uh, but that's what Rome did. And Caesar Augustus did not cooperate with the senators. He basically gave them no power by vetoing any law they passed. So you can imagine how that made them feel. And they would have loved to bring it back to the Roman Republic, but they were not successful in doing so. And part of that is he took all their power away by, ha by having them make no laws at all. So Rome is really now in empire, dictatorship. The people are not having a say anymore. Pax Romana. So talk about the peace of Rome. Caesar did support the growth of businesses and a monetary system throughout the empire. You know, Caesar's face is inscribed on coins. Some of the, the Jewish teachers brought to Jesus, and this was far away, this, you know, outlying province for the Roman Empire, Judean, that's so close to our hearts. Um, 